All right, friends, here we are in Niceville again. You know, our market is fast and furious here. And once in a while, I get lucky and we get to take a look at some properties that are not on the market yet. They're still being built uh, and have not been listed. So let's take a look at a couple of those real quick right now. We are here in Niceville. This is on Sycamore. We've got a pretty nice little neighborhood here. Um, this direction would take us back to Highway 20, uh, Eglin, or uh, excuse me, John Sims Parkway. Here we are at 1693 and 1691 Sycamore. Two homes being built here, four bedrooms, two bath, uh, just over 2,000 square foot of space here, two car garage. Uh, again, just in the process, as you can see, pretty long along the sides here. Backyard looks half half decent size wise and we can take a quick peek of that around this direction. Here is the front entry. Looks like a nice covered porch. And coming on back, pretty good space in between the two. So that's nice to see and nice to have. Uh, this one we can't look out the windows on it because they do have them taped up for texturing. Uh, it does have a covered porch here. Looks like it comes out of the living room area. And a pretty good sized backyard. Fenced in. Um, you would probably want to do a, a fence down the middle here to divide the two homes from each other. These two floor plans are the same, just kind of flipped, if you would. So let's go inside and take a look. Of course, Niceville, Valparaiso, very highly sought after areas. Um, and, and once these hit the market, I don't anticipate them being here very long. We're going to go in through the garage. Again, two-car garage. It's going to have the PEX uh, plumbing, it, it appears, over here. Here's where your circuit breaker panels would be. Uh, pull down steps, hopefully. When you walk in from the garage, you do enter the laundry area. So pretty good size. This way to the left would be your front door, front of the house. Looks like a little sitting area. And through to the kitchen, but we're gonna go this way, down the hall. So once you enter through the hall, you can go to the right for some bedrooms or off to the left. You can see it's kind of an open area. This appears to be a, a peninsula off of the cabinets where your sink would go as well as along that wall right around in this area would be your stove looks like it's going to be electric nice size pantry and a big area for fridge you can see nice angles looks like they're doing the recess lighting and a knockdown texture with a tray ceiling here in the living area so let's go off to these bedrooms here first Looks like a closet, coat closet, AC unit, and bedroom number one. Bedroom number two, a little bit bigger. I do like how they put the closets in the walls side by side and not stuck out. This would be the hall bath. It appears it's gonna have a double vanity as well. Toilet and tub shower combo. And then of course, bedroom number three. There you can see what I'm talking about with the closets, the way they stick out of the wall. But still, good, good sized closets. Coming on back, we're gonna come back over and into the living area. Again, this would be your kitchen. Back through, there's your pantry that I talked about. Straight back, either a formal dining or a sitting area that I had talked about. Nice long wall space. That's the double doors out to the patio that we saw. And then of course, the master suite. This thing looks huge. Look at the size of that closet. It could be another bedroom really for a small child or a punished husband. Uh, so master suite, you can see, we do have the trade ceiling here as well into the master bath. It looks like we're gonna have a garden tub, stand-up shower, 
double vanities and linen closet and water closet. So this is again, uh, 1691 Sycamore here in Niceville, Florida. That is being built, looking uh, hopefully to be done in the May, June timeframe. So that's another tour. Again, not on the market yet. So definitely something that somebody can get engaged with and see if uh, they can make this work for them. If uh, you are interested in this one, any other one, I look forward to talking to you soon. Please give me a call. Talk soon.